Mr. President of the Senate and very distinguished colleagues, my name is Senator Biobarakuma Degi. I represent Bayelsa East Senatorial District. This motion indeed is on the need to ensure immediate revival of the Brass Liquefied Natural Gas Project in Brass Island, Bayelsa State. And it is presented as follows. This Senate notes that Brass Liquefied Natural Gas is a greenfield project established to operate liquefied natural gas plants located in Brass Island by Elsa State, following an agreement signed in 2003 by four shareholders. The shareholders are Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NNPC with 49% shares, while Konoko Phillips Total and any international had 17% shares each. Note further that the federal government conceptualized and eventually brought to stream the liquefied natural gas project to convert the huge gas resources being wasted through gas flaring in the country. The idea behind the liquefied natural gas project was to eliminate negative environmental impacts and to essentially generate revenue for faster economic growth and development. Aware that President Olusegun Obasanjo in May 2007 performed the groundbreaking ceremony for the takeoff of the brass LNG project after award of contract for the front end engineering design FEED to Bechtel Cooperation in late 2004 for two LNG trains with a total capacity of 10 million metric tons per year. This followed the completion of feasibility viability studies of siting an onshore LNG facility at Brass Island. The primary feed studies were conducted in 2005 with further optimization in 2006, paving the way for the Competitive Engineering Procurement and Construction, EPC, tendering process. Also aware that in October 2007, Brass LNG awarded Nigerian Westminster Dredging and Marine Limited the Early Works EPC contract consisting the construction of a pioneer camp and three preloads to provide early settlement for the project tank farm. Further aware that for the smooth operation of the project, Brass LNG signed social contract agreements with primary host communities, Okboma, Iwama, and Brass, Tuam Brass, in December 14, 2007. Reminded that the activities of Brass LNG project will attract both local and multinational companies to Brass Island, which will enhance socioeconomic development and increase the foreign exchange earnings of the country. When fully operational, Brass LNG will, will create about 10,000 jobs. Further reminded that Brass LNG will also actively promote local content, sustainable development, make strategic investment in remote areas in line with federal government policy, develop and monetize some of Nigeria's abundant gas resources that will otherwise remain stranded, increase domestic liquefied petroleum gas supply and water view. Also aware that the execution of the Brass LNG project had got the sum of about 1 billion 200 million US dollars as of 2011, covering early site works and maintenance. Since then, the project had remained moribund. Disturbed that Brass LNG project had suffered several setbacks, occasioning unnecessary delays in the signing of our final investment decision, 
which led to the divestment of two shareholders, Konoko Phillips and Total, leaving only Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and INIV International, and worried that the moribund state of brass LNG project could rightly be described as consciously organized sabotage by several stakeholders, including the NMPC, through diversion of funds budgeted and provided for the execution of the projects, not now, some years back anyway. Accordingly, resolves that one, commend the federal government for the conceptualization, design, and commencement of work since 2004. Two, invite the management of NMPC and Brass LNG to brief the Senate Committee on Gas Resources on the extent of the implementation of the project. Three, urge the federal government to create an enabling environment for reputable oil and gas companies to take over the 17% shares each previously owned by Conoco Phillips and Total. And four, urge the federal government to take necessary steps to ensure the revival of the brass liquefied natural gas project. I so move. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Ovi Omo Agege, Delta Central Senatorial District. Uh, Mr. President, I rise to second this motion and to convey my total support. But before doing that, Mr. President, I thought I should extend uh, my heartfelt congratulations to Senator Degi, His Excellency, Senator Degi, the Deputy Governor-Elect of Bayelsa State, on his huge success at the recently concluded Guba elections in Bayelsa State. Mr. President, we told that all politics is local, and that is what is playing out here. Uh, this motion is very, very apt, very, very timely. Uh, I wish this motion had come much, much earlier, much earlier uh, before Mr. President undertook the international trip to Soki, uh, Russia. Uh, I'm very, very confident that had this motion been taken at that time, uh, this probably would have been one of the projects that uh, Mr. President would have uh, canvassed before the international business community uh, to source for, for investors that will replace those, replace those that had who uh, had 17 percent uh, share, shareholding uh, by how to uh, disinvest, just like Mr. President did for for a Jakuta uh, steel, uh, steel uh, company or complex uh, and the other uh, companies. But like I said, Mr. President, uh, better late uh, uh, than never. Uh, uh, now that uh, this, motion, this motion is brought before us, uh, probably believing that this might be one of the last motions that uh, Senator Excellency Degi is bringing before uh, he assumes his uh, uh, new office. I think to give us an opportunity to bring to the attention of Mr. President and, in fact, the uh, business community so that uh, uh, they can come in and uh, see to it that uh, uh, this uh, brass LNG uh, uh, is completed. Uh, once again, uh, before I take my seat, I support this motion. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Is there anybody against the motion? Prayer one, commend the federal government for the conceptualization, design, and commencement of work since 2004. That was in favor of prayer one, say aye. That was against any, the ayes have it. Prayer two, invite the management of NNPC and Brass LNNG to brief the Senate Committee on Gas Resources on the extent of the implementation of the project. Those in favor of this prayer, say aye. Those against any, the ayes have it. Prayer three, urge the federal government to create an enabling environment for reputable oil and gas companies to take over the 17 percent shares each previously owned by Conoco Phillips and Total. Those in favor of prayer three say aye. Those against any, the ayes have it. And prayer four, 
urge the federal government to take necessary steps to ensure the revival of the brass LNG. Those in favor of prayer for say aye. Those against any, the ayes have it. Thank you very much, distinguished colleagues, leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my